Hello and welcome to the history of Babylon 5. Today we're going to be covering the tragic history of the Markab. And here we go. The Markab were a sentient species and one of the younger races. They were members of the League of Non-Aligned Worlds before they were wiped out by the Drafa Plague in 2259. A bipedal humanoid, Markab can be distinguished from other races by their distinctive patterns of darkened indentations over the tops of their heads and their flat, noseless faces. Like humans, they have five-fingered hands. Their hairless skin comes in several shades between pink and gray. Like humans, Markab Markabs can breathe in an oxygen-nitrogen atmosphere. They were also approximately human size. Markab neural systems utilize special chemicals produced by their yellow blood cells, which would biochemically translate electrochemical impulses from neuron to neuron across their synaptic gap, similar in functions to the Pac-Mara's green cells. The Markab were an intensely religious people with deep-set religious rites and moral concepts, which at times seemed a little fanatical. These rites include high days of fasting, which at times led to trouble, due to their people frequently trying to break it and priests catching them. Other rites are the use of psychotropic drugs to enhance their religious experience. However, these experiences can cause them to lose control. They also have a legendary story of an ancient island of Drafa, whose people were struck down by their excess and immorality. The story was told to them as children, and they were reminded about it as adults. In reality, this was a deadly plague, named after the island, that wiped out the entire population. But the people came to believe that only the immoral would die from it. The Markab had a strict moral code, fearing that immorality would bring down the wrath of the gods. Such was taboo surrounding immorality, or even implied immorality, that whole families could be scandalized and labeled as unclean. It was even believed possible that associating with the immoral could somehow contaminate an otherwise moral person. It was this culture trait that would ultimately doom the species in 2260. When Babylon 5 was created in 2257, they were one of the races to contribute to it. They were represented in the League of Non-Aligned Worlds and had a permanent seat on the advisory council. Their voice and influence must have been important since a representative of theirs was shown with the Speaker of the League in a meeting with Jeffrey Sinclair in 2258, discussing the cooling of tensions between the League and Earth over the Deathwalker affair, which at the time seemed to be a major diplomatic crisis. In 2259, the Drafa Plague, after nearly a year of quietly spreading, finally came to a head on their homeworld and abroad, only on Babylon 5. Did the disease come into full focus with the help of Dr. Stephen Franklin and his staff and the assistance of a relatively open-minded Markab physician, Dr. Lazarin? Despite their best efforts and without assistance from the local Markab who refused to even talk about the illness, the plague consumed the Markab species. The plague was prevented from spreading among the alien population with a serum developed by Franklin and based on input provided by Lazarin before his own death, but it was too late. All Markev perished everywhere, save for some isolated areas. This effectively ended the power of the species, although they did not actually go extinct. However, it was stated too few of them were left to replenish their race, so their future extinction was inevitable. In the months following the Markab Holocaust, members of other races began stripping the remains of the Markab civilization bare and salvaging their derelict ships, many of which would find their way into the possession of the GOM intelligence. During a secret mission to Zargo 7, Sheridan lured a shadow ship to Sector 47 and used a Markab jump gate to destroy it, obliterating the jump gate in the process and thus preventing future looting and plundering of their former home world. Thank you for watching the history of Babylon 5. Have a great day. Bye bye.